You seem pretty calm. It's almost streaming off of you. A lot calmer than you were on Paragus when I first met you. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. Alright, what did you want to know? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, that. Don't tell anyone, but you wouldn't believe how many fights you can prevent by just pretending to know that stuff. I mean, it doesn't compare to wearing a lightsaber, but then again, that doesn't seem to help you much. Yeah? So what? I don't ask any dumb questions about your past, despite the fact that it keeps throwing us into life-threatening situations. Wanna know why? I figure if you ever want to tell me something, you will. So give me the same respect, alright? Well, hey, thanks. But you've got the wrong guy. I'm good at shooting people, cracking wise, and pretending to know how to fight with my hands. Alright, what did you want to know? Yes. Have you come with questions? Very well. What is it that drives you? Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. And why do you need such a thing? Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. A lightsaber, any weapon, only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. The knowledge has already been imparted to you. Upon our journey, the pieces shall fall into place. Very well. What? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. It seems the Force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the Force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. A powerful t Very well. The Jedi practice many forms, many styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho, the simplest of the forms return to you as your skill and perceptions have returned. Others may come with time, with experience. It is simple, and its simplicity is strength. It allows focus, a slightly improved chance of connecting with one's opponent. It has no other advantages or disadvantages. It is an effective form to fall back on when no other form will do. Others may come with time, with experience. Ask and...
There is nothing wrong with my sight, if that is your question. I see all that I need, though the seeing of things flesh and blood has failed me some time ago. They were distractions only. There is nothing wrong with my eyes. They simply have atrophied from use. They are adequate to distinguish shapes, silhouettes. If need be, I could heal them, restore my sight. But sight can prove a distraction. When one relies on sight to perceive the world, it is like trying to stare at the galaxy through a crack in the door. But that is a lesson for another time. You must learn to see crude matter for what it is before the veil is lifted. Ask, and I will answer. Nothing more than we already know, and anything else I know would be useless. There is danger in such knowledge, even if I were certain of the ones who hunt you. General, need something? Sorry, guess I can't get my head out of the past. I moved around for a couple years. Working as a starship mechanic got me from place to place. I wasn't ready to settle down after the war. Then you understand my restlessness. Though the war had ended, I couldn't find peace in anything. As long as I kept moving, I didn't have to think about what happened. Know what I mean? I'm sure you do. I decided I'd do something constructive. I wanted to make up for the things I'd done in the war. I wanted to design planetary shields, but there weren't many systems with the credits to spare. There was more that needed to be rebuilt than protected. I found out that Telos was going to be the flagship project for the Republic, and it sounded like something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it. It deserved a better fate. But Zerka ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka out on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything myself. It's good to be working with you again, General. Something else I can help you with? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Sure do, General. I've made a few while I wasn't working on the ship. Here you go. Just remember, the best shield is not getting shot at all. Something else I can help you with? I got tired of it. Kept dropping my hydro spanner. Figured I'd get a new one. I was only kidding. Actually, it was a souvenir from Malakor. I was lucky it was all I lost. But at least it gave me something to do, right? Everyone always said I was probably half machine anyway. Something else I can help you with? Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who got her up and running, but I'm amazed she's even space worthy. Whoever made these repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But don't worry, I'll get everything in shape.
Another visitor? You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first. You're one of the salvagers, right? Your ship looks banged up enough to be part of that lot. But you look different. Then who are you? The only recent visitors we've had on Dentuin have been salvagers and a slew of mercenaries. Just to see the sights, right? You're just another salvager. Go see Administrator Adari in Kunda if you want to get into the ruins. Kunda is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The Administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. I know it doesn't look like much, but there aren't many settlers that live on this planet. This building is the start of something new for us. We're very proud of it. She was the agricultural administrator of Dantuin. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up. But after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a raider is a vibroblade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, or food just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on calf hounds. But nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. A farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the Calf Hound and Kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. The disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident-prone. Have you ever sliced a Jedi security door? The old ruins are secure from salvagers unless they get permission from Adare. Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the Administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. Hey, get away from that door! The last time somebody messed with it, it was locked down for months before we could fix it. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Her office is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. She can see you now, if you like. You're not. The only heavily armed people that visit us are either salvages or mercenaries. And you don't look quite gritty enough to be a mercenary. The things that would most interest you are our weapon merchant, Anzeron, the leader of our militia. Akere is still around here somewhere, too. He sells droid components. 
Just go to the central corridor and make a right. His shop is the first on the right. If you get into any trouble, he's the person you'd contact. Unfortunately, recent problems with the salvagers and mercenaries have kept him quite busy. The mercenaries cause disruptions for some of our outlying settlers. They are a constant source of friction for us. I hear the salvagers are having some internal problems too. No, I couldn't. If you're really interested in that, just speak to Zeron. Captain here, are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? Talk to Baroon first. If your situation needs militia involvement, he'll send you my way. You got any other reason for coming to militia headquarters? Rare thing a visitor wanting to help out. Looks to me like you're here to explore the Jedi ruins. But we have a thing or two that need doing. You seriously want to help, just ask about it. Or any other questions you might have. You want something? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. Kinrath are normally just pests. We think something happened to their nest. Started near the end of the Civil War. Nobody knows for sure. Even the Athorian. And they're smart about such things. Very. The Kinrath you see on the plains aren't as tough as the ones inside the caves. They may not look much different, but they are tough. Two thousand credits. I agree with you, but I don't barter. I got more important things to do. We used some explosives to seal the cave a couple years back. Just made them angrier. They burrowed another entrance even closer to us. I know there are crystals in there, too. Some of the salvagers once thought about going in there to get some extra credits. Too many Kinrath, though. Cave is on the southeast side of the plains. Shouldn't be hard to find. That's all I can ask. You want something? You really should talk. I don't have anything to say about that. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. Oh, sorry. If you're brand new to these parts, you may not have any issues with Garavik, unlike most everyone else. You're fortunate not to know him. He's a salvager. His purpose in life seems to be causing us headaches. I can tell he's back in Kunda just by the pounding in my head. If you're not here about Garavik, do you have some other problem? You haven't? Well, that's something. I'm the second in command over here, and we keep getting incidents. 
Our staff is stretched thin. Too thin. If you do have trouble, I'm not the one to talk to. You need to talk to Zeron. He takes a hands-on role as the militia captain. Uh, this is... sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So, it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. It's tricky. You see, I think Zeron may be taking this whole thing a little personal. I'm not sure. Just a guess. I also think he's doing more to provoke them than just investigating every complaint against them hard. He's up to something. If someone could just ask a few questions, turn up some answers, maybe see if Zeron isn't being completely honest with the rest of us? Well, then maybe he should be replaced. Just look around. See if Zeron's up to something on the side. Something that'll hurt the fragile peace we got with the mercenaries. So if you happen to find... We should probably talk... All right. Stay out of trouble now. It's you again. Well, you know who you want some. Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. Garavik says he won the whole claim in a Pazak game with the last survivor, right before he killed him. But that was a fair fight. There were witnesses. But nobody remembers Garavik ever playing Pazak. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim off my hands. I'm tired of those low lives pestering me. We've got real work to do. You want something? Visitor, please come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the um, ship that just landed. Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual, but you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which of course, I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. My friend, let's just call him Frook. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? We need the skills of a Jedi more than ever. 
He was helping investigate Asgul and his mercenaries. But he had his own errand to run in the Enclave. Jedi business of some sort. He went into the sublevel, which isn't without its dangers. And he hasn't returned. Like many parts of Dantooine, the sublevel of the Enclave has become infested with dangerous creatures. Large, vicious insects called Lagrex have made the sublevel their home. Several salvagers have reportedly been injured or killed by the Lagrex. I would expect a Jedi to fare better against the creatures than the salvagers. But Vrook has not returned in some time. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? We are fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? I have no doubt that Baroon means well, but I have every confidence in Zaron. I would ask you to ignore anything Baroon asked of you. He doesn't see the full scope. I realize that I am asking you for help, but you must also know that I am the head of this nominal government. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to divulge all information to you. There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Too many, I'm afraid. I would go to the militia headquarters and make your intentions known there. Besides that, just listen and ask around. The salvages keep coming here and bothering the militia. That Garavik is the worst of them. If it weren't for the Jedi, we'd be a prosperous community. They brought us nothing but trouble. Where where that came from?
Kära Nanna Gundoso, Reminia Kelraktu Kuru Katpada, Fjärra Tora Pada Nå, Ringa Tell Kamarada Tela Fibu Nubu Dabi Karana, Tjeni Rara. Man namma tre till Sövra Barakta Drun. Krishe min tru grej bara nån flang turen när saga ninch. Gräva vi nå ku se ta bate vate. Dra winstå så på tutu nelliep grej patata. Dra winstå på tutu nelliep grej patata. Tela runda nanna nintolo gräda tira. Där runt och runt och vakar vi kvä och vap gärebo. Nen så tela pachan går så där annan är grej och gräva där nån ta tjolor igen. You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. There was a time when seeing a Kinrath was a rare thing. They mostly were around some caves to the south of here. But now, they're everywhere. They're dangerous too. More vicious than they used to be. I'd stay away from the eastern side of the plains. And now that I think about it, stay away from the west too. The West is filled with cat hounds. Dantooine is in a sad state these days. 
Mostly because the Republic has left us to fend for ourselves. I gave the Republic the best years of my life, and I understand they're under pressure. But I think that they'd be able to spare at least something to help us out. All we get is sympathy. Some law and order, for one thing. Take what I'm doing right now. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to coon on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. I'm one of the Kunda militia. They need all the able bodies they can get. I was a Republic custom inspector before I came back home. Now I'm the closest thing the militia's got to an investigator. I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something, hmm? It's technical. I doubt you'd understand it. But I'd really appreciate your help. I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here. But you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. But I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. More where that came from. Yeah! Time to even the odds. Time to even the odds. Hear you. 
I hear you. I will silence this one. Let us end this. What a lord Shiba Fuso, but she'll know what you will knock. Yatuka, who one Rika, Chodin, Wanima, or Rata Wakata, Chiluma Lispa. Huta Yanolia, Jukta Genichu, Bawanki, Najung, we not on man, no me Rita. Kavanata Kalu, Kavanami Donkey Grato. Kavanata Kalu, Kavanami Donkey Grato. Bram Tabanin Sochu. Da come ju smak miki baranye to so so rika chondin. Wana ma grable moko. Yatuka u wan rika chodin wani ma orata wakata chiluma lispa. Bram Tabanin Sochu. Da come ju smak miki baranye to so so rika chondin. Wana ma grable moko. Yatuka, u wan rika, chotin, wani maorata wakata, chi luma lispa. Huta yanolia, jukta geni chuba wonki, na jung we noton ma, no mi rita. Ba wan maderancha, you come most croon, nande mi soku kuran marendin krabanosat. Yatuka, u wan rika, chotin, wani maorata wakata. Bram Tabanin Sochu. Da come just mak miki baranye to so so rika chondin. Wana magrable mogo. Yatuka, u wan rika chotin, wani maorata wakata, chi luma lispa. Bram Tabanin Sochu. Da come just mak miki baranye to so so rika chondin. Wana magrable mogo. Yatuka, u wan rika chotin, wani maorata wakata, chi luma lispa. Kabadumba, mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun wish chawaka chuba, sura da chi morotuko gansa. Bram tabanin sochu. Da come. Yatuka, u wan rika chotin, wani maora. Yatuka, u wan. Yatuka. Yatuka. Come on.
Say the word. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. The crystals here are infused with the Force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. The crystals here do not drain Force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the Force. I hear you. Just say the word. Just say the word. I hear you. Just say the word.
Yes, have you come? I hear you. Just say the word. I, I hear, hear you. The crystal's bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the Force, the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. Quite the contrary. Picture yourself as a sieve, and the Force as water pouring into you. This crystal draws from the excess water that escapes the sieve. The crystal is in tune with you. It will use whatever water that pours through you, be it dark or light.
I don't suppose you found any of those atmospheric sensors? That's great news. My offer still stands. I'll pay you 3,000 credits for all of them. It is worth more to us than that. I'll pay you 4,000 credits for the lot of them. Thanks for your help on this. Here are the credits, as promised. I'll get this to Zeron when I get back to Kunda. It's you again. Well, you know who I am. I figure you've got a reason for coming back. You want something? So you did. Here's the credits I told you about. Even with the caves cleared, I imagine it'll take some time before the Kinrath aren't on the plains. That was very helpful of you. You've saved some lives today. You want something? You really should talk. Hello there. You haven't had any new... I'm not the one to talk to. You... We should probably talk about something else. All right. I hope that you haven't run into any difficult... Is there anything else I can assist you with? What have you learned? 